Hi guys, it is turning into a gorgeous day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization out here in this <coughs> undisclosed swamp uh, in the middle of nowhere and we have stumbled <coughs> into Tuesday, December 15th, <coughs> 2020 and I am Sam Mitchell. This is Collapse Chronicles <coughs> and uh <coughs> Against my better judgment, as if I have anything called a better judgment, I, I'm going to go ahead with this daily chronicle of the collapse since uh, <clears throat> I was already thinking about doing this, uh, and a couple of you have also sent me this article from good old USA Today, uh, and I think this might have been the very first Corona panic story I ever covered on Collapse Chronicles before the collapse and fall of this channel. This was the first hint I got back way back in March that the Corona panic was not a good thing for this planet. And so we have a December update. And so let's see how many, how much hate mail I can get and how many. Uh, subscribers I can lose and downvotes I can get for simply reading an article from USA Today for anybody who wants to hear it, which I realize is nobody, but <clears throat> take it away, Nathan Bomey from USA Today, and update us with this title, Headlined, plastic bags, forks, and containers are everywhere during the pandemic, increasing pollution. Do you think so? The corona panic has triggered a rise in pollution from single-use plastics and undermined the movement to ban their usage. Opponents of plastic bags, cutlery, and personal protective equipment <clears throat> say the material is endangering the environment by threatening wildlife and drinking water. Supporters, namely the plastics industry and major retailers, say plastics remain cheaper and safer for consumers and should not be banished at a time when Americans are facing a major health risk and financial troubles. The clash over plastics reached a tipping point in the early days of the pandemic, you know, back when I was figuring out the other side of the corona panic story when environmental activists decried a major plastic trade group's call for the federal government to publicly back plastics and oppose bans. While that never happened, watchdogs say the plastics industry has nonetheless capitalized on the pandemic by misleadingly portraying its products as necessary for public health. Because of the pandemic, non-recycled, single-use plastic waste, primarily from medical equipment, food delivery, and takeout, quote, has gone up materially, according to a report by plastics industry analyst Simon Powell of investment bank Jefferies. At the same time, plastic bags have re-emerged after some retailers temporarily banned reusable bags. Several states, including California, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire, and New York, took steps to delay, weaken, or reverse laws banning plastic bags. <clears throat> This is, you know, this analyst, uh, Simon Powell, uh, you know, this investment banker, uh, you know, from a plastics industry analyst himself, quote, 
the pandemic is eroding hard-fought efforts to reduce the, plurif the proliferation of single-use plastics. Governments are rolling back or delaying bans, and virus-driven behavioral changes have fueled increased plastic consumption by consumers, close quote. He also noted that the single-use plastic demand from medical, food delivery, and groceries is up, offsetting declines from restaurants, industrial packaging, and beverages. <clears throat> Plastics, when not recycled or reused, you know, which is somewhere between 90 and 99 percent of the time, are harmful to the environment because they do not biodegrade and are made using fossil fuels that cause climate change. Worldwide, humans use up to 10 million plastic bags per... All right, what do you think? 10 million worldwide, how many plastic bags per week? per day, per hour, or per minute. If your answer was per minute, give yourself the depressed collapsitarian gold star of the day. Worldwide, humans use up to 10 million plastic bags per minute, according to the UN's environment program and up to 13 million metric tons of plastic waste ends up in oceans every year, reflecting the equivalent of one garbage truck every minute, according to a recent report by the Pew Charitable Trust. And of course, what this article does not mention, the uh, forecast for plastics is we will be using four times as much plastic in 2050 as we are in 2020. We are getting ready to quadruple the amount of plastic uh, being produced on this planet in the next 30 years. <clears throat> Environmentalists accuse the plastics industry of lying about the dangers of reusable containers and bags, which experts say are safe to use, but should be periodically washed. This is John Hosovar, Ocean's Campaign Director at Greenpeace, quote, Right out of the gate, the plastic industry exploited fears around the pandemic to try to convince people that single-use plastics were necessary to keep us safe and that reusables were dirty and dangerous, close quote. A letter sent by the major plastics trade group, the Plastics Industry Association, to Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar on March 18th, exhorted the department to, quote, investigate this issue and make a public statement on the health and safety benefits seen in single-use plastics. It further called on the, you know, the federal government to oppose plastic bans, quote, as a public safety risk. And this is the, the story that I was reporting on back in the middle of March when I got myself in so much trouble on this channel for suggesting that the corona panic might not be the savior of the planet. <clears throat> Brendan Thomas, Vice President of Communications for the Plastic Plastics Industry Association defended his organization's letter saying single-use plastics remain cheap, durable, and sanitary, all particularly positive qualities during a pandemic 
when millions of Americans have lost their jobs and are trying to stay safe. And in the medical field, plastics have been crucial in gloves, face masks, face shields, gowns, and other products. Thomas said, quote, consumers are fortunate to have plastics and single-use plastics at their disposal to use to protect themselves. Yes, he noted that plastic bag bans or taxes can lead to higher costs for consumers and retailers. Quote, there are groups that may want to ban plastic items and single-use plastic items, but what they're really doing is hurting workers, close quote. Yes. Jenny Romer, legal associate for the Ocean Conservation Group Surfrider Foundation's Plastic Pollution Initiative, said the plastics industry's action led to legislative setbacks for environmental groups. Many bans on plastic ban, many bans on plastic bag bans were temporarily shelved while some businesses have have it supposedly temporarily disallowed reusable bags. Uh, they had the word bans in there too many times. Many bans on plastic bags were shelved. Okay. While some businesses have disallowed reusable bags, even localities known for aggressive measures to protect the environment have, in some cases, taken action favoring plastics this year. In the early weeks of the pandemic, pa pandemic, yes, San Francisco, one of the first cities in the U.S. to ban the use of plastic bags, issued <coughs> an order preventing businesses from, quote, quote, permitting customers to bring their own bags, mugs, or other reusable items from home. Close quote. And in Massachusetts, Governor Charlie Baker ordered 139 municipalities that had placed restrictions on single use bags to overturn those laws. <clears throat> Still, Romer noted that many states and localities have stuck by their bans, you know, despite the pressure from these uh, planet eating lobbyists. As of September, 22 states have statewide bag laws or regional plastic laws of some kind, but 16 states now have laws in place preventing bans or restrictions. Romer noted that some policymakers are beginning to resume talk about taking action against plastics. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, moving on. The, <clears throat> the takeout boom. We're now we're going to go look at the takeout boom. The takeout boom has created a new frontier in the battle against single-use plastics. About 10 laws have been passed throughout the nation cracking down on the use of of plastics and takeout, most of them in California. Uh, environmental activists are now pressing businesses and policymakers to require consumers to ask for plasticware instead of automatically getting it along with their food. Plastic cutlery is generally not recyclable. As Romer said, reducing plasticware and takeout would also benefit the restaurants. Quote, it is something that would save restaurants money if they're providing less of this stuff, she said. Perhaps the most challenging area for plastics opponents is now in the medical field, where it is difficult 
to make a reasonable argument that caregivers can avoid using disposable items. Yes, what is certain is that most consumers have viable alternatives to single-use masks and gloves, for example. <clears throat> Romer said, quote, people are picking a lot of masks and gloves off of beaches. Yeah, here, here we go. How about this for a knee slapper? While policymakers may be hesitant or refuse to take action, some environmental proponents are hopeful that corporations will act on their own. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Starbucks uh, is now getting back into offering usable takeout cups and Whole Foods, Costco, and Trader Joe's do not provide plastic bags at all. Yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Conrad McCarran Senior Vice President of As You Sew, a group that promotes corporate and social responsibility, said we need to be moving faster. Do you think so, uh, Conrad? Quote, we need to see much bigger commitments. It's great if you can find some new innovative delivery systems that people haven't thought of, but in the short term, why keep using plastic when many of your competitors have gone to paper? <clears throat> but we're going to wind up with uh, Mr. Thomas the Plastic Industry Association representative said plastic makers and users have been unfairly characterized as insensitive to the issue of plastic waste. Quote, quoting the Plastics Industry Association PR flack, quote, the plastics industry is as concerned as anybody about the environmental impacts of the manufacturer or sale of plastics. And there are a number of initiatives underway to protect the environment, to clean up the environment. What we would like to do is recycle, reuse, and repurpose more of it, close quote, you know, echoing this uh, this BS uh, corporate greenwashing recycling refrain, this crap that we have been hearing uh, since that fake Indian <clears throat> shedding a tear for the Keep America Beautiful campaign back in the 1960s. But I do agree with uh, Mr. Thomas that the plastics industry is as concerned as anybody about the environmental impacts of plastics because 99.9% of the 10 million plastic bag users uh, have never considered the uh, impacts to the environment of all of this crap. But with that, I am going to take a swig <clears throat> out of my uh, out of my uh, plasma, my single-use, great value, purified drinking water bottle, and. Uh, Take the little dog on a walk. <clears throat> Get out there and enjoy your single-use plastics while you still can. Bye, guys.